We're here, we're outside Technikan's Hus, something like that. We're in Lulio and it's 25 degrees below minus. It's a beautiful winter's day and we're going to go in and find out what Technikan's Hus is all about. It's a cross between, I'd say, a science museum and Disney World. So let's go in and find out what it's all about. Technikan's Hus. Let me just show you something. Swedish, I better not drop this. The Swedish love the snow and ice so much. They even bring it indoors. The Swedish think of everything. Look at that. Beautiful. That's lovely. Oh, I've spotted something here. What's this? Look at that. This is the first snooze found in Sweden. So they put it in a little frame. That's worth a lot of money, that is. People will kill for that. Safety first. Right, so we're 100 feet, or more, probably 200 feet underground now in the mine. It's dark, it's cold, there's no fika anywhere, but we're gonna do a bit of work. So here I am. I think, if my Swedish is right, we're digging for iron. My well, Swedish is good. So here we are at work. That means get out of the way or reversing. Then we wait for the explosion. Good job I've got my helmet on. I know you're thinking, that guy's got all soot on his face. No, it's not. It's my real skin, so don't be so cheeky. So moving on, let's see what's around the corner. So we're here, we're inside with Brit Marie. I know it sounds like an English name. I think she might have made it up because I'm Big Steve from England. <laughs> but she's Swedish and she's going to explain. What's this about? Oh, Brit. this is about drilling. When you get into the mine and you want to come closer to the iron ore, you have to drill your way to get closer to it. So why don't you do it in, in real life? If you just start the machine. Okay, so I'm pretending it's my first day at work. Green for go. Yes. Oh, there we go. We've got the lights on. Let's get into position. Really closer to the wall, so you get the drill close to the bore. Oh, wrong way. And then when you feel that you're really close to it. So make sure you're at the right spot, ready to dig. Here we go. Yes. So it's really, it's really like working in the mines here. You've got a real life noise. That's really good, isn't it? In England, if I was sitting in one of these tractors in England, I'd probably get arrested, because I'm not a farmer. Come on. Look at that, piece of cake. Whoa, what's going on? Transponder Rume de Plant. Oreo free plant. Oreo free plant. Oreo free plant. I think they're thinking about a free plant or something. Oreo free plant. Oreo free plant. Soon as I landed up here, I must admit I had the goosebumps But now I know the bonds have even more fun with moose guns I tried snooze ones and puked like was too strong As for some to water it down, they gave me moonshine Most the same thing I seen is cow's rover A double burger baked in a big ass cow sona I felt real lonely just knowing it's looking at me Like if I start eating it, that damn thing attacked me I heard black peeps had heart to find a boost start So I just call my friend Mr. King Kong so it's a beautiful picture here on the wall. Um, 
Let's find out what it is. Oh. Javia Spermia. 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 Something like that. It says underneath Sea of Sperm. Great. Come down and have a look at some sperm. Today, we've had a great day at Technique and Hoos. It's been a great day. I've learnt so much. It's like an early learning centre for kids and for grown-ups. Come down and have a look. It's fantastic. And again, I'd like to thank the guys from Blur Film. The guys has helped us film this episode today. It's been fantastic. I've had fun. Just remember, Blur Film. In England, that means blue film. Big Steve, big. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>